Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, I am joined today with my beautiful friends. Of course, you guys all know Stephanie from Spiritual Perspectives of Our Great Awakening and our lovely in real, what do the kids say? IRL, in real life friend, Bonnie, the boss. So how are you ladies doing this morning? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm excited. <laughs> Bonnie, how are you? It's your, it's your debut. It's your camera debut. Doing good. <laughs> Welcome to the big screen or the small screen or the computer screen, where everybody is watching this. <laughs> Both of you ladies have been to my actual home and have seen my setup. And as we were talking about the other day, Stephanie, we're literally all just filming out of our home. So I, you know, it's all, it's all good. It's all, that's what YouTube is. So we're really excited. I'm really excited about the show today. I can't speak for you ladies, but I'm assuming you're <laughs> excited too, because part of Stephanie and my little adventure, we just went on our first adventure of many. We started in Tennessee before we went to DC now, we were staying at Bonnie's house, and Bonnie just happens to live very, very close to uh, something we've spoken about on this channel before and something we will be speaking about on the Dark Ice, uh, the Dark, the Dark Isis, the Dark Outpost. <laughs> Isis just want to come on through, baby. And that is that Tennessee, the original name of uh, the Isis is the Greek name. The original spelling of Isis, the woman Isis, was E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. Um, which is where we get the Essenes from. The Essene group was the priest and priestess of Isis. And where we also get the <laughs> state name Tennessee, which means the country of Isis. And um, most of you guys on this channel do know that Stephanie and I especially have been playing with this idea that everything is inverted and that all of our history isn't what we think it is. And that, you know, as the military back channel said, mirror everything. And that the political slogan, America First, wasn't just a political slogan that was in actually telling us that what we call America, the continent from Canada all the way down to South America, is actually the cradle of life. And so what we consider to be Egypt is literally where I live, uh, where Bonnie lives, Georgia, Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, Florida, all the way, I think, over to Texas. The Mississippi River being the Nile, where Memphis is on the Mississippi River, right? Uh, we have a, a Cairo, Georgia, down south Georgia, which they say Cairo. Maybe that is the correct way to say it then. Um, that means that New Orleans is more than likely Alexandria, where the Library of Alexandria was. And um, a lot of people think this is crazy. But you know what? As I've learned in this Great Awakening is nothing literally is what we think it is. And so and we're, we, we're finding all this evidence that we've been completely lied to about everything. And part of this is the supposed hidden isis temple in tennessee and this isis temple we went to i thought it was really cool i would love to i kept telling you ladies like we need to rent some of these cabins and come back and spend some time here because i had i have fun with you guys anyway because we're fun i think we're fun, <laughs> yeah, <our> fun. <laughs> we're fun so even if we're not trying to find a hidden isis temple we're still having fun so this is at what is the norris dam bonnie is this it's called the norris dam right correct and you did some research because if you guys were keeping up on our Twitter, now I will put both my links and Stephanie's links to Twitter because we were dropping a lot of videos as we were there on Twitter. We kept saying now for the Americans watching, you guys probably get this, but for people who are not from other, not from America might not understand this. Norris Dam was named after a fella from Nebraska, correct? But we're in Tennessee. That doesn't happen, guys. If you're in a state, if there is a national monument after a person, usually it's someone from that state. So the fact that was weird at first to us that they were building this dam around this dude that wasn't even from Tennessee. But Bonnie, you did all the research into this guy. So I'm going to let you take it over from here. First off, I want to say, sorry, I live near an airport. So you'll hear airplanes go by if you, do, if you don't. Um, but um, I think I have the PowerPoint for you. Um, but we'll first start off like, um, okay, so, you know, remember back when the, okay, the Hoover Dam was built from 1933 to 1936. So it was finished in 1936. Yep. So before that, though, do we all remember the Great Depression started in 1929? Well, who was president during that time? Her Herbert Hoover. So 
Well, I did some research on this. Um, I found out that just like we are today, like 2020, that craziness, like bringing everybody down, keeping everybody inside. Mm-hmm. Well, the great, the great depression pretty much did the same thing. It, it lowered, brought people more inside and people weren't, couldn't afford things. You know, money was tight, losing jobs, all stuff. very similar to what, you know, this also opened up the great depression, opened up the welfare system, which put people, made people dependent upon the state. Exactly. They wanted, they wanted the people to be dependent on the government. Mm-hmm. So that's why they brought in the great depression right at the beginning of Herbert Hoover's presidency. Like literally it, he got in at March in 20 or 1929. And then that, the great depression happened in October of 1929. So coincidence. Nope. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no such thing anymore. Is there no, no such thing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then we know who is after um, Herbert H- Herbert Hoover, which he also has a dam too, mm-hmm. Hoover, and his dam was created after this. But um, anyway, so Franklin D. Roosevelt, which we know is the cousin of Th- Theodore Roosevelt, and we know this connection. There is a connection. I intuitively was getting the connection that he's pretty much finishing his cousin's work. So that sounds familiar, right? Yeah, there's more research on it. It would have took me a lot longer to do all of it, but I didn't go into Theodore Roosevelt. Yeah, that's um, okay. I think most people watching understand, wink, wink, that presidents it, do that. It's a family affair. Exactly. So he became president in March of 1933. Now they broke ground and started doing the excavation in August of 1933. That was pretty fast. They passed the law for it in May. Is this for the Hoover Dam or for the Norris Dam? Norris Dam, sorry. Okay. For the Norris Dam. So boom, boom, boom. March he gets in. Boom, they pass it through the Congress and stuff. We start working on this Norris Dam in 1933, um, May of 1933. So that's two months after he got in. And then right after that, they started excavating in August of 1933. Like that's really fast. And then, um, it's almost like they had this planned out from the start. Yeah. Well, they, they, I did research that they were working at. So obviously he was finishing what Teddy was doing. Teddy was looking at Tennessee for a while and this, and the the valleys for a while. And if you go back in some history books that were changed, we know they were changed, but some history books that were changed saying that, you know, oh, it looked like the, the water you know, it was creating so much damage. We got to put this dams in, blah blah. And when it actually was the opposite. Can, so, can we pause on that for a minute? Because I've seen a few dams in my life. I've I've been very lucky to travel a lot and drive across dams. My first reaction was, "Why is there a dam here? Like, mm-hmm. what? This doesn't look like it needed anything. Like, like we all kind of were like, this is a little. I don't want to say pathetic because it's beautiful. It's not pathetic. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful area." but it doesn't look like it ne- was necessary to build a dam. Mm-mm. You're right. You're questioning, right? Because as you go farther on, the North Dam was one of the first dams, first big dam, sorry, biggest dam at, of the time when it was being built. And then it was the start of all the Tennessee Valley dams. So, um, so they s- started excavating in 1933 And, um, you know, we wondered why it was named after Norris. Okay. That's the big question. Why is it named after Norris? So George W. Norris was originally from Ohio, Sandusky, Ohio. And he practiced law and at Harvard, Harvard law. And then (laughs) we know about Harvard, um, but he really liked Nebraska. So he, after he passed the bar, he went, moved to Nebraska, became a lawyer. But he only was a lawyer for like three years. And then immediately he was brought into the House of Representatives. So a lawyer that has no political background, nothing like that was put right into the U.S. House of Representatives and served in the U.S. Senate. So who served or who was the president during that time? In 1902. 
the- Theodore Roosevelt. Yep. I was about to say Roosevelt. Yeah. Yep. So that's where it ties in Roosevelt too, right there. So, so, so yeah, you know, he's a lawyer. He then became in the Senate and then he was in the Senate for a while. He was in the Senate. Um, where does it say? 19. Okay. U.S. Congressman from 1902 to 1912, 10 years. And then the U.S. Senator from 1912 to 1942. So then right before uh, Franklin Roosevelt um, became president, he heard um, Norris trying to push the dams. And he supposedly tried to push it six times being in, in the Congress and the Senate. And no one would budge on doing the dams here in Tennessee. No one. But then um, Franklin D. Roosevelt like, was like, okay, we're doing it kind of thing. And just started working on it right away. That's why he credited Norris for his name to be okay. on the dam. So it's almost like this fraternity of brothers knew that there was something really important in Tennessee that needed to be taken care of mm-hmm. before people found it. Cause let's, let's like go back on the timeline here. If we're looking at this being an ISIS temple that they're hiding, if we're looking at Tennessee being the country of ISIS, first of all, they have to tell us these things somehow. They just neglected to tell us that unless you research that ISIS's real name was E E S S E like the Essenes. And so if we're looking at the timeline of Tartaria and the, the hidden history, the mud floods happened, started happening, we believe, in 1776, and then kind of continued through up to the point of the Civil War. And if you think about it, we had uh, the War of 1812. There were all these wars, if you look all over the world, that were happening throughout the Civil War to explain why there's all these bodies, as we've been finding in cemeteries. That's why there's all these bodies that they have to explain a reason for. Then we get to the early 1900s. We've got World War I and World War II, which not even going to get into that because I'm sure there's a whole other story, a truth behind that. So all this like confusion, chaos, they're dropping us financially so people can't, you know, we've all been now, the people brought back to earth have been indoctrinated to believe this negative timeline. And so they're just working around people not seeing this until they can hide it. That's and where yeah. my mind's going. And that's why, you know, they put in the Great Depression so people wouldn't be drawn to them, what they're doing. And then they'd be like, oh, we're the good guys because we're bringing in more jobs. We need people to help build this dam, blah, blah, blah. So they're trying to look like the good guys again, when really, in reality, they're not yeah. i'll get on that in the next side but um so i just have a few pictures of the dam when it was being built i'll put those up in the editing process for sure yeah and then i found some really juicy stuff so so <laughs> i went to my local library here in tennessee and um i love to have the librarian come and get me some archives <laughs> I was like, let You're me go after my own heart. <laughs> like, let I, was, me I, was, I was, I was just thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to research. So it's juicy, isn't it, Bonnie? It gets juicy. I'm like, I got to smile on this. Well, she texted me last day and she's like, OMG, Stephanie. And that's all she said. And I'm like, what? Spill the tea. This, re- this research, I'm finding so much thing, like so much information on this, this ISIS temple or the Norris Dam. And I'm like, Oh, can't wait to hear about it. <laughs> so let, let's spill the tea. This is this is the truth or gossip channel. Let's spill the tea. What's going on at the okay. Norris Dam? So this, okay, now we're switching gears to the excavation. So we know the excavation had it happened. So they brought in some arche- archaeologists. Um, there's one from University of Kentucky, one from University of Tennessee, and um, there's a few more, but one I know from the University of Michigan. I was born and raised in Michigan. Um, <laughs> and Knoxville, the University of Tennessee, Knoxville's right there too. It's so close. Oh, yeah. Because this is, oh, oh, by the way, North Dam is in Oak Ridge, <laughs> Tennessee, which is the north part of Knoxville area. Yeah. Um, just so everybody knows. And um, so I did some research and I had to dig deep, but the Sm- Smithsonian has the archives of there you go there you go you said it all (laughs) the The smithsonian survey that they did on the norse bison in eastern tennessee so i have the the document 
from way back in 1933 when they started excavating. Um, so here's the first part of it. I'll just read the first, just part of the first page um, because this is the good stuff. It says, as early as August of 1933, the suggestion was made by um, interested citizens. Interested citizens. Who do you think that is? <laughs> <laughs> that the Tennessee Valley Authority Oh, by the way, Tennessee Valley Authority, I forgot to tell you about this. This was created the same time as this Norris Dam was passed. Of course it was. Of course it was. They needed an authority for these. 1933. And who head up that Nor that TVA? That would be Norris. <laughs> so. I think they're clever, but they're so obvious. They're so <laughs> obvious. I wish they're digging. It's obvious. I mean, we have that too. We have the when we went there. There's the plaque that says Norris and the TVA and all that stuff on there. We'll put that juicy stuff up there. <laughs> um. So, this. Let me start again. <laughs> as early as August of 1933, the suggestion was made by interested citizens that the Tennessee Valley Authority should undertake archaeological archaeological. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Can't talk. But you. Archaeological. <laughs> Archaeological. There's your tongue twister for this morning. <laughs> Investigations in the areas to be flooded by the building of dams on the streams in the Tennessee Valley. It was recognized that the construction of dams and the consequent flooding of the large areas adjacent to such construction would destroy all records of prehistoric occupation and forever prevent future archaeological investigation of such inundated regions. No! Right in black and white. They're telling you guys. They're like, guess what? Sorry. We're going to tell you this. Good job. There's something here that we don't want you to know. That's what they're saying. It's but we're gonna destroy it so you'll never know what was here. Even if you don't believe us, even if you don't believe that the ISIS temples were here and this is Egypt, that is telling you something. There was something there that they didn't want anybody seeing. Okay, it gets a little bit more juicy because they're talking. It gets more juicy? I know. They're like <laughs> they're like Tyler, they're telling on themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, right at the beginning, and that's introduction. That's the first paragraph. Now we're going into the second paragraph. The importance of such areas for archaeological... Whoa, 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 I just... You know what I mean. Archaeological, <laughs> yeah. I get I get sli I slip on that word, too, sometimes. There's some words that are hard. I get that. There's some words I'm like, wait a minute, what's that say? <laughs> yeah. So in the <laughs> investigation is at once apparent. For prehistoric man, the rivers were his highways. The rivers were attractive to um, Aboriginal man also because there he found a never ending source of food in great quantity, which was comparatively easy to obtain. The fertile bottom lands furnished ideal sites for the location of villages, especially for those peoples practicing rudimentary agriculture. Since this region was the known home of diverse Indian tribes in early historic times, first let me tell you. So, I read most of this, the the whole, pretty much a lot of the book. And what he gets at the end is he he thinks it's going to be the Chippewa or not Chippewas, the Cherokee. Cherokee. He thinks it's the Cherokee tribes. Okay, so the, I'm pretty sure just by reading what he's saying is he doesn't know about the mud floods. He doesn't know about that. He knows that. It was buried about 20 to 22 inches below ground, all this stuff that he excavated. So if you do the math. That's the mud floods. That's the mud floods around the late, late 1700s. Mm -hmm. That's the I mud have a floods. hypothesis. I have a hypothesis that I've had for a while. <laughs> there is a prophecy about the Cherokee Indians being the lost tribe of Israel, which is not Israel. I think the Cherokee are part of the Essenes. Well, I'm going to ask, because believe it or not, so Stephanie and I also went to Myrtle Hill in Rome, and, and I'm, I'm, as of recording this, I've only prepped part one of that, but that the Cherokee and Knoxville are actually going to come into play for Myrtle Hill as well. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. So oh, I, 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 that was something I was going to bring up, is because we know 
that during Tartaria and the original Egypt, that it wasn't just one race that lived there. There were blonde haired, blue eyed people there. There were blue people. I mean, we saw the paintings of blue people in DC as well. There were all sorts of different ethnic. It's all connected. All connected. It's all connected. This land is your land. This land is my land. Yeah. All that of makes us. total sense. So then I digged a little bit deeper. I just wanted to page two. And then it just talks about what the survey, the survey revealed. They said that there's 23 sites showing def def definite evidence of prehistoric occupation. So there was 20 earth mounds, nine stone mounds, four village sites, and seven caves. So that means there were giants there. Because the Indian mounds I found in my research into the Smith, because the Smithsonian, the Smithsonian. <laughs> we're all having problems today pronouncing listen, our words. Listen, <laughs> this whole timeline shift has gotten us on like a roller coaster. <laughs> The Smithsonian, that was what I learned in my research, too. Anytime I wanted to find the nitty gritty of something, I would look at lawsuits against the Smithsonian because lawsuits are all public record. And I learned because the Smithsonian has been sued countless times for uh, getting rid of giants. Yeah. Who's the one that paid the archaeologist that dug up some of the giants? Smithsonian. Well, the Smithsonian also took all of the stuff when we did our deep dive on the Isis temple in the Grand Canyon, the Smithsonian came in and removed it all and got rid of the evidence and has it all blocked off. Yeah. If I go out to Arizona or wherever it is, I'm going to okay. sneak past those guards. I'm going to well, find it. And that's the thing too. So I learned that these, cause we have an Indian mounds around me and we, have, we always taught as kids. It's where they, they buried their dead. Um, I had that bring out your dead <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway, but, but according to these paperwork, these are giants. These are burial plots of giants. So anyway, so go ahead. So I was like, okay, now so we know they're giants there too. <laughs> so good to know. And this is also what proves more. So what do you what do you think when you say that there's out of those 29 mounds, 12 of them were burial mounds? And 17 were associated with the prehistoric structures. What do you think there? Who used burial mounds? Burial mounds. Well, I know that the, the, again, the, the, well, they, well, according to what I understand with the giants being buried is some of them aren't actually dead. They're in a stasis, which means they're still alive. <laughs> He's alive. Well, He's gonna, like shoot up like a zombie and just start running. <laughs> exactly. I laugh That's gonna I laugh go I'm well. terrified. I laugh because I'm terrified of that. <laughs> <laughs> That could get a little messy. It's crazy. So then I go on and I look at the, the map. Okay, so these sites are not near each other. So it's like a village down the rivers, man-made rivers that they all flooded it. It's right perfectly where these sites are. Every single one. So it, here's the whole old map from 1933 that they, they drew up and it's all down the water. And these are, and the, the guy that, his name's Webb. I'll give him credit. He was trying to be really nice to these people because it's going on people's lands. There's farmland and stuff. He went in and he asked them if they can dig and stuff like that. He felt bad and he gave credit at the end to all these farmers and that went on their land. The government didn't do that. The government didn't care. No. No, because they're psychopaths. So basically, guys, what we're saying is it appears from the evidence that there was a, I would say, a full functioning village or town around this ISIS temple, kind of like Vatican City today, in this state that is named after ISIS, the country of, of, of ISIS. Mm. So it seems to me that where the Norris Dam is located is hiding something really intense. Because a lot of, I think, the artifact, artif ar now I, I really can't speak now. Now I think a lot of the stuff we find these, arch these things we find in our backyards, we equate them as just being Native American. And sometimes they can be, appear to be that way. But in reality, they, this stuff was so big that it was no way if the common person saw it, that they would believe it was Native American, correct? Is that, that's what my assumption is. And so they had to flood it. Kind of like Noah's Ark. 
And what, you can tell Webb was not happy about it. He was, he really wanted to do justice because he is a true archaeologist. He yeah. wanted history to get out. He wanted, he wanted people to know, but the government was not having it happen. But at least he got some um, evidence to go back to um, University of Tennessee, University of Kentucky, and University of Michigan. So all those people that helped out and stuff like that, they went back there and they've been studying it there. So I don't know if they're still there today, This the the um, the bones from the burials or the mounds or anything that I have no idea. But he still was depressed that this stuff, all this burial sites were still were buried underwater. So some the last of these mounds could have been bodies from the mud flood too. Oh, yeah. So we know, I'm trying to think, we know the entrance to the Isis Temple was right around where the, the steep side of the dam, correct? That's what, there's a lot of um, sites everywhere, so it doesn't specifically say that it's there, but there's a lot there in that area. So my guess is that's pretty, pretty, pretty much that's the case. But it, there's, like I said, there's 29 burial mounds and um sites across all the way to the waters that are to today like the tennessee river the norris lake all that what they technically flooded when they did those dams so here's something interesting i just maybe magdalene said this to me y'all know the story of blackbeard right so Heard Blackbeard. About it. So my mom's family is from the coast of south carolina the charleston area this is why i'm super comfortable with ghosts and there is this, there is this like, uh, they turned it into like a, a condos some years ago and they, they would buy them. People would sell them and, and whoever would live in the con this particular condo would like be out within six months because they couldn't sleep. The reason why they couldn't sleep because they would hear these like beating every night, like somebody's ch ch chiseling into wood. Well, the story goes that Blackbeard pirated up and down the coast, the East coast of the United States. And he would bury his treasure and he would take some of his men to bury the treasure. But in order to keep that burial spot a secret, guess what he had to do to those men after they buried the treasure? Bye bye. Right. And so people are hearing the ghost of these people burying the treasure. So let's let's like take the story of Blackbeard and let's put it on to the American government. What if some of these bodies are bodies of workers that they used to build the dam, but they had to then get rid of them so they wouldn't say anything. Can we ask the cards that? And threw them into these mounds. Because they're whistleblowers, but to keep a secret a secret, as little people as possible have to know. Does that make sense? Mm hmm So I'm getting a yes. Okay, so we have the sun card. So that's telling me, yeah. Um, and I'm also getting like, look at this guy. He looks like he's looking at the ground, like like you buried something. Yep, <laughs> like a temple. <laughs> yep, yep, okay. And the page of pentacles is like a job offer. So they were offered jobs and then we're getting a yes to the question. Um, and there's a lot of secrets behind this. Um, and the powers that be, which is oftentimes my higher font card was responsible. <laughs> okay, this is crazy. So I didn't put all the research up here, but one of the things that I found too is that when they flooded, they flooded a lot of cemeteries. What I think is they put the, those bodies from the workers in those cemeteries because they're unmarked graves because they're flooded. Oh, so were they flooding also on top of other, because cause what I'm getting, and we're going to talk about this more on Myrtle Hill, and Stephanie, we've spoken about this before, burying your bodies, that's not something that was commonly done. Like, our ancestors did not bury bodies. And why? Because we have, through divination and, and our own intuition, have realized that when you bury a body, some of the soul essence of that body stays in the body. Right. So they're harnessing that energy from these bodies where our ancestors used to cremate bodies because it releases the soul. So were these also old cemeteries of mud flood, too, that they wanted to cover up as well? Because they keep creating stories of these wars to try to explain mm -hmm. why there's so many damn bodies. And also, too, you have all the obelisks that are all in these cemeteries. What are they harnessing? 
Yes. And I want to cover that as well. Cause people are like, Oh, the obelisks are going down. Only some obelisks are going down guys. Only the bad ones. Stop with the black and white thinking. That's a mental disorder. Some of these obelisks are good. Well, also it's so weird where we're talking about this. My entire life. I always told my family, do not bury me. I want to be cremated. Same. Do not bury same. me. Same. Same. same, same. I've always said that. And I never Burn knew me, baby. why. And now I know why. Yeah. And as I was shuffling this, 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 <laughs> the tower flew out. Of course. <laughs> I think we're the tower moment for the, for the controllers. They're like, damn it. <laughs> oh my God. Well, us, the people are, we're the storm. We're the storm. We're the storm. We went to the Guidestones. <laughs> Seven oh, days boy. before I came down. <laughs> I, when you told me that, I was like, wait, what? Wait, what? We didn't even know. I'm having such fun with this. And I am so grateful for all the people who keep tagging me on Twitter. And so many people are texting me and they're like, what did you do? do? I'm what like, do I don't know. Did I look cute? That's all that matters. Did I look cute doing it? Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> our friend Tamara down in Australia she's called Stephanie and me and I just love talking to her because she was laughing so hard she was she like, was she was getting a kick out of it she like, was what like you do you 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 Bryce a little Steph out there putting doing your little thing <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what'd she say you're like, you and little Steffi you're out there doing your thing I was like as, as long as we look cute doing it that's all that matters tomorrow we just need to look I don't even remember what I wore that day <laughs> It was hot as balls out there, so it was. But, it oh, was. Yeah, I think we are the storm for the for the cabal. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. So, what should we ask? I know we've done this before, but should we just do it? Can we just clarify with the cards in all seriousness? Is there an ISIS yeah, yeah. temple at the Norris Dam? Are they hiding? We'll call it an ISIS Vatican City, because <laughs> that's what it sounds like, right? From the research, this was like a Vatican City. Which makes sense because temples, even from the Tartaria stop, that was a place of healing. And so, of course, people, and, and I will say, too, with the Smithsonian, in all seriousness, if you looked at some of our D.C. footage, a lot of these old Tartarian buildings in D.C. were owned by the Smithsonian. And I will say were owned because I don't think they're owned by them anymore. I know that look. Yeah, <laughs> there is. <laughs> And of course, it, here it's, it's got to be cute. Ace of Cups, everyone. Ace of Cups. We all know it's Bryce's favorite card. Of here it's like giving us a little wink there, a little power wink. It, so, you know, Ace of Cups, which is a yes. We have, the, look at this. We got an Ankh. Yep. The Empress. Um, <clears throat> and, and this was a place of... Um, balance and justice yeah. and yeah everything was very balanced within um we could say like the law of one or the law of the true god <coughs> and um this was a place oh look at this could be past life stuff right here um and it it was a, like if you look at the hermit card so like a place of meditation like what did yashua do he went up on the mountain to meditate right yeah and 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 ground himself I'm sure Magdalene did. Um, Kwan anybody, Kwan, Kwan Yin, Yin, all of yep. them, they did this. So to me, <clears throat> this was like a holy place where you go to, um, you know, there's collaboration. So that could be like um, receiving some sort of training maybe. But this was a place where um, you could, I, I look at it like the monk, you know, goes up on the mountain. Like an ashram. Ground. Yeah. It was an ashram. So... Now, do we want to look into oh, we can't, what, what source can tell us about Mr. Norris? Okay. <laughs> the name is named for. We think we know, but can so what, 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 what will source or spirit let us know about Norris, who the guy is named at? Who the what, what's, is? what's his first name again? George W. Norris. George what W. Jo George, George W. <laughs> I was about what to say, is that George check, check W. Norris, but, Sorry, Chuck Norris. You're not him. <laughs> George W. George W. Norris. I used to watch that a lot. But, well, I knew somebody that used to... What is that Chuck Norris? Texas. 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 What's that show? With Texas. Chuck Norris. I don't know. 
Why can't there, I think of that show? Their viewers yelling at us right now, though. You know that the viewers are yelling at the screen right now. The what? <laughs> their viewers yelling at the screen right now with the correct Yeah. Answer. Why can't I think? We're all having brain farts today. Talk about a timeline shift. Okay. Girl, this, this week has been wild. I tell you, wild. Yeah, it's been very wild. It's been really weird. I get home and it's like, I don't even know where I am. I'm like, what's happening? This doesn't even feel like home to me. Okay. So what can creator <coughs> tell us about Mr. George W. Norris? That we don't already know. That we don't already know. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> don't you love my facial expressions, guys? They kind of tell a story. Already. What did yeah. spirit say? Hold on. I'm, I need to get a couple more cards. All right. Well, he was paid off by somebody. Yeah. To um, pretty much, you know, with this Knight of Swords energy, I'm kind of getting like. Take action. Well, it's a take action card, but I feel like he brought. <coughs> he paid people to go in. And block this. The whole, okay, so the whole time you were doing it, I, I kept pulling my cards too, and I felt like the night of, I was like, they were teaching positive sex magic there as well. Like the yeah. Isis, which went flames, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Well, the whole priestesshood of Isis had tons of twin flames. But not only that, it was soulmate twin flame stuff. Because the thing is, like, for example, during the time of Atlantis, what held the vibrational frequency of that area? That was twin flames. And, you know, not to rule out anything with, with you know, people who are in a very high level soulmate union. That is also very it's powerful. Still creating a too. spark. Very. The yep. twin flames and, were working on the spark. <laughs> so they were blocking, um, you know, those who were of love and light and um, practicing the, the, the light stuff, the, the light work and everything. And also um, trying to stop something. So we have the hangman in reverse, which tells me that he alone was trying to stop something. Um, but it's like at this present, present time, it's like things are coming to fulfillment. And these things are temporary yet painful, like... How do I want to put this? He was just, I, I feel like maybe he wiped out the last of what was going on there. Maybe, maybe he was the one that removed the Cherokee because the Cherokee, I've done a deep dive on them before I was even in truth or land and they were drove out of the Smokies. Well, they weren't what they lived where I lived too. And we're going to get, when I grew up too, big Cherokee was a huge, huge nation. And we'll get into more of that with the Myrtle Hill stuff, because that does play heavily into the Myrtle Hill stuff. And, um, yeah, I think there there's some truth there. So maybe there was, we know some people survived the mud flood. So maybe, can we ask that? Were there people living? Because let's be honest, though, where this is located, if you don't have a modern day car, it's going to be kind of hard to get to this area in the Smokies. So it's not like the average person was going to be able just to walk up to this temple. So let's ask that after the mud floods. Were there still some people who survived the mud floods living in this area, practicing what they were practicing during Tartaria at the temp of the Temple of Isis? Yeah, there were survivors because <coughs> I get Ace of Wands. However, it's like they were offered an opportunity to go that direction with those <coughs> probably demonic people. They were removed. They were. Bonnie, is there anything you want to ask the cards regarding this temple? Um, I don't know. Like, it just seemed they only had six months, pretty much, to excavate this whole area because they're pushed to like bury it so fast. So obviously there was a lot of good stuff under there and 
obviously what we're getting, because when I was doing the research, I got blocked from a lot of pictures and a lot of things, just researching. A lot of things were censored right now that they weren't censored a few months ago, even. So we are on the right track. Well, let's ask that then for, for the, the, for the dark cats that are left, are they panicking now because of people like us? And we're not the only ones to, I know, right? Don't need cards to answer that one. I mean, <laughs> as long as we look cute guys. Um, but we're not the only ones talking about the state of Tennessee guys. Like if it wasn't for other people doing research, I would not have known about this. So there are other people out there talking about this. Um, so you could just, I mean, I, even if you just put it on your, even though Google is not a research tool, you can still Google stuff. Just, I do that all the time just to see what, just to see what the other side is saying about the situation. And even putting it in just a simple Google, you're going to find articles about this ISIS temple. So it's coming out. So let's ask, are the powers that be panicked? Because even though they did all of this work to hide all this stuff, we still figured it out because <laughs> we're that smart. <laughs> and looking cute while doing it looking cute while doing it but i will say when we were driving up to the north dam we stopped at the gas station to get some gas and i decided i needed a snack and i got some gas station grapes <laughs> that was bad a decision that was bad i'm not good with grapes anyway i just was craving them and i i i, I mean i was walking around there bloated and I was still figuring it out. So I guess the controllers are kind of pissed about that. <laughs> oh, they're pissed. Oh, they're, they're, they're in total utter chaos right now. Like, okay. So they're trying to hold it together with this card. They're really trying to hold it together. Okay. They're trying to keep things under wraps. They're trying to keep the victory theirs. Okay. They're holding on for dear life. Okay. However, Chaos, confusion to the devil. And it actually hit them in the ass when they least expected it. They Here didn't. come these three girls. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, listen, we took down the Guidestones, guys. You need to be afraid of us. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't well, even know what we were doing. We didn't even touch them. <laughs> we were just out there skipping around, doing a little, putting our little pour the water and it's a light we just sent we sent them light and light and love and i will say something that cracked me up was um the first tower that fell so stephanie and i did this thing where she stood on one side i stood on the other we put our hands up and we just kind of did like a little prayer first tower that fell is right where i was standing i was like oh snap was that like a wink from the <laughs> wow yeah it was my third time out there so I, that was very Three is a big number. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. But anyway, anyway, we're joking, guys. We're just laughing. That's what we do on this side of the, the war. We laugh. You have to joke about it. We're just like, what the hell? We like, <laughs> like seriously, we're just there. What the hell? People are scared of us now, Stephanie. <laughs> I'm only 4'11". They're nothing to be afraid of. As, <laughs> as Tamara calls me, the li little stuffy. Little you know, stuffy. I'm, little, I'm just a little stuffy. That's all I am. I'm nothing... <laughs> I'm a city itty bitty. Somebody on Twitter was like, some low level witches did this. And I was like, if we did this, I don't think that's low level, but <laughs> jealous much? No. <laughs> We're kidding, guys. We're totally, totally kidding. Totally kidding. But, but we had gone, I mean, the same trip. We went to the Guidestones. We did stuff in Georgia. Then we went up to Tennessee before we had <laughs> DC. And, um, and we were laughing the whole time. I mean, some guy called me baby at the gas station as I was buying my gas station grapes. <laughs> It's fun. It's really fun. We get out and you're like, did I hear that correctly? Did someone just call me baby? I'm like, well, I was questioning if I heard that correctly, but that confirms that we heard it. Well, well, I was walking out of the gas station eager to get to my gas station grapes and some guy said some, hey, baby or something. I just kept walking. <laughs> I just kept walking. Uh, I'm, very flattered. Thank you very much. I'm very flattered and then when we went into the marina because there's a really fun marina with a man-made lake on the other side of the dam i mean mm -hmm. totally fun like i would out i would recommend anybody going there. it was a pontoon party it was a pontoon <laughs> party but we were walking around and some kid sitting outside like stopped us kid he was probably in his early 20s and like immediately wanted to start talking to us and bonnie you even said Oh, that, that I'm paraphrasing what you said. You said that speaks volumes of our energy that he felt comfortable just to start chatting to these three, like middle-aged broads. He's like, to find ISIS. 
are y'all from the north? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm the only one. Well, Bonnie, you're, you technically are. I'm from Atlanta. I am. <laughs> I'm over in Babylon. <laughs> it's like, I'm from Atlanta. I mean, but, but people down in the south consider Atlanta to be part of the north because it's a big city full of Yankees. <laughs> so anyway, what well, can we ask the cards? Is this ISIS temple going to be unveiled at some point? Or is the truth going to come out about this land basically? Cause if the ISIS temple is unveiled and the truth is going to come out that this is fucking Egypt. I also want to point out too. So I took that map that we got from the, um, the store where I said, Oh, it's a rip off map. <laughs> a map. And the guy like, she rip meant like off. you could rip it off and take yeah, it. Yeah, you rip it off the thing and you, I'm like, he's like, what do you mean a rip off? I'm like, you rip it off <laughs> the thing. <laughs> they were really nice though. They were really cool. People in the South place. generally are. Southern people are generally really nice. So, especially to women, there's kind of a code of conduct in the South when it comes to women. Mm -hmm. Always be respectful to women. Yes, ma'am. So, yes, yes ma'am. Ma yeah. So, so that yeah, when you rep when Bonnie here. reprimands her children, it's no sir, no ma'am. <laughs> I think it's cute. Well, I lived for in Virginia for nine years and then Tennessee for two, so I kind of picked up that <laughs> when raising my kids. <laughs> I was because to the point where I was saying y'all all the time. So y'all is great. It's politically correct. You well, it's say, easier to say than you all. Like you can say y'all, you can say all y'all, which is different from y'all. All y'all. I like that. All I like the I was okay. I grew up in Michigan and they had um the UP and in the UP they say y'all. The, the bottom part of Michigan they don't, but in the top part of the Michigan they say y'all. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. What I wanted to point out was I totally got sidetracked with this whole thing of the map being ripped off and everything. Okay. Cause that's what I do. I'm a little scatterbrained. So, um, hello squirrel. Um, but I took the map and then I took a metal, not a crystal pendulum. And I then took the pendulum and went over the entire map. And I said, show me yes, where the ISIS temple is. And it was right on the dam. Yeah. That's what we, and that's what a lot of people and a lot of research I found figured out that's where like, right, that's why they put the dam there was to really have a monstrosity of a thing to hide this freaking temple oh, and then crap. drown everything else out. So I, I don't know how, hair. as the Ace of Swords pops out. Nice. So I'm asking the question, is it going to get unveiled? Um. <clears throat> Yeah. In our For lifetime. The fool, the fool, the death card. I got the same six, thing. I got the same. I got the fool and death card too. Yeah. 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 And Wheel of Fortune. So that's telling me, yeah. How can we ask on a on a on a whole, how are the Christians gonna handle this information? because even really, though do I, do I really need the cards to answer that one i mean are they going to be able to survive it because I, I mean we put this information out there to try to help coax people out of that brainwashing but well i was a christian who did survive it all so it's possible it is possible and the fact they're going to find out that the scenes the essenes who they know that jesus or joshua was part of the essenes but that literally means the priesthood and priesthood of isis yeah i was asked so what do you consider yourself now i'm like i don't know a spiritualist uh i have said like an essene maybe i don't know gnostic just a, a I'm just a person i'm just a human being i'm just a girl <laughs> do we have to be anything why can't Bust we out be? with stefani over here all right let's see what am i oh it, what it, oh are they gonna survive it <coughs> this information um, coming out um, um, it doesn't look so good. I think it's on an individual level. So I don't want to, I don't want to like sit there and say, oh, every single Christian is evil and bad. I mean, Generally I was, speaking. so I'm the, so let's reword this. I, I was a Christian who did not harass people for their belief system. I just didn't. I, I had my own belief, whatever. And I kept it to myself for the most part, <coughs> even though I was ridiculed for not witnessing to people. 
but I felt it was wrong. So I never really stood there and witnessed people. So anyways, I would never condemn anybody even when I was in that world. Like you do you kind of a thing. What do you say, Bryce? You do you boo kind you of a thing. Boo. Yeah. And so there are still Christians that operate on that wavelength because probably part of them does understand and deep down in their knowing knows there's something off. Now, what we're talking about are the abusive, narcissistic, condemning, uh, fundamentalists <coughs> that I'm asking about. And so they're going to have a very, very hard time. Um, they're probably like, this is going to be their inner work. Really? Honestly, they're so <coughs> They're going to be in complete like mental disarray with this particular card. And they're going to try, they're going to just shut down. A lot of them are going to shut down because this is self imprisonment and they actually might get worse in terms of how they react to people. So, um, page of wands, they're going to have to, this could be like, they just totally shut down, totally shut down to everything and they need serious um help i'm gonna pull a couple more cards here i pulled on the extreme fundamentalist and it doesn't look good no why i mean it's not good either oh why you pull a couple more i'm just gonna show you guys i got the ten of swords the chariot so they're gonna first try to surrender but then there's gonna be movement coming the ace of wands the page of pentacle to the devil so i think some of the fundamentalists are gonna hold on and start making offerings to the devil oh oh that's ugly well, I mean, the Christian church is a satanic church. I mean, it is. There's no getting around it. Yeah. The Bible follows the, the bloodline of the banker family. Um, I mean, I do have some good news after. I do have a little bit of good news. I pulled a couple more cards. <coughs> In the near future, it looks like they are going to get some sort of healing. I have the magician card with the six of wands, which is telling me they're going to get healing. They're probably going to have to go through some sort of program. Um, that assists them and allows them to reprogram the mind, whether that's like something like a med bed of some kind. Um, but I, I, I'm not getting, it's like an automatic, oh, you, boom, you're healed because then that's not removing the karma. They have to do some sort of work themselves. They're going to have, just like those who got this, who survive and everything, they're probably going to have to go through some sort of, um, uh, I don't like to say the word program because we it's know what that deprogramming. Means. It's yeah, it's a deprogramming. Yeah, like why did you think this? Why did you question this type of finding thing? critical, uh, being able yeah, to access critical, critical thinking. thinking skills again? Yeah, um, finding their human humanity back. I mean, that has been to me out of this whole thing. The church is the most disgusting to me because it's it's and I've said this before. I've I've never gotten threats from a Hindu, a Buddhist, a Muslim, an atheist. I only get threats and they call it witnessing. It's not witnessing. It's you know, I've said this before like Stephanie and I don't go on other people's channels and type comments to them, but they come to ours. We don't we don't bully them. We're just putting our Yeah, they become literal trolls. Yeah. Like they're they're um you know, I, I could care less what people believe in, but just don't harass my beliefs. That's all I Exa ask. And don't harass you know, other people on our channels who are supporting at one and want to yeah. see the information. Don't get but mad. Death threats. Like, why would you do a death threat? Like a death threat is, I mean, you're stooping down to, co to, to the powers that be level. If you're, if you're sending a death threat, because they don't believe in the same thing you believe in. And why do you care so much about someone's eternity so much? It's not. And I know the psychology. I, I know that's, what, that's their thinking. That's so their I know thinking. the psychology. I'm trying to, if I can say this clearly, when people act that way, where they throw a temper tantrum because you don't believe what they believe, it's because they don't actually believe what they believe. And okay. you not believing it too has triggered their insecurity in what they believe. And so the psychology behind that is they want to beat you into submission so it can validate their belief system. Yeah. So when people attack us, it's because they're not totally secure in their beliefs. If you're secure in what you believe in, then you don't attack people. Like, that's why Stephanie, we don't go on their pages and say anything because we're. I'm totally secure. Well, on first of all, I don't believe in what they're what they what they talk about. So number one, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, exactly. So I, 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 I have no want to to go on to these fundamentalist uh, YouTube channels or anything like that. It's I don't nasty. have. A, I don't have a desire. I'm more focused on uh, seeking my own truth. Yeah, and that's all. Yeah, and it's um, it's it's now that I've 
found, read all these grimoires about no Moses and Solomon. I'm disgusted by the Bible. I'm disgusted by it. It's following satanic practices. It's not the real in the Bible, the Biblio. I, I found I had taken a screenshot of this. It means the book of the sun. Oh, but and um, then we were discussing what church meant. And that comes from the word Kirk, you said, which means uh, um, mind control. Correct, Bryce? Yep. It means mind control. Just like government means mind control. Church means mind control. Why don't they call it a temple? Why don't, why do they call it a church? Why don't they call it a mosque? Why do they call it a church? It's mind control. Mm -hmm. yeah, but on a better, what was that? So we can break that though. We can break that mind control. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah. Uh, yep. Absolutely. Um, on, a, on a better note, I, I did want to discuss if it's okay with you guys, like how we felt when we went to this dam. I had fun. Because because I think that's important too. Like I felt like it was very healing. I felt, <clears throat> I felt familiar. <laughs> I felt semi-familiar. Um, there was a piece about it and it was absolutely stunningly beautiful. And I, how many pictures did I take? I probably took a hundred pictures there. I'll have to send some to you, Bryce, to maybe post up if you want. Um, and even though the river was man-made, it was like an emerald color. It was beautiful. Um, and yeah, that, that pontoon party place, I, I'm going back there again. And I'm going to run a pontoon. We're going to have a party. Maybe we'll have an after party, right? For <laughs> sure. I'm just trying to find that, that thing about the Bible um, while you guys, because I know I had to save it in my phone somewhere. Um, I've got so much stuff on my phone though from my research, but yeah, no, it was, it was, I wanted to stay and I kept saying there's these little cabins you can rent. And I kept telling you guys like, oh my God, we should like rent a bunch of cabins and just all come up here and like for a week and just like have <laughs> a bunch of beer, do s'mores. Don't, don't bring gas station grapes. Not a good idea. Um, I can eat the gas station. I can eat the gas station grapes and be fine. I can't eat the Snickers bar like you can though. So as we discussed previously on Twitter, Bryce is like a 10 year old with a debit card when it comes to snacking as she can just pound down the candy and be perfectly fine um, because, it. I don't, because yeah. of the vodka and me being, well, I'm trying dosha, but I have to stay away from pizza foods and eat more vodka foods, which Bryce can't eat. So I can eat the grapes, but I can't eat the candy bar. I, that's the one thing I love about being a Vata. I can do without the anxiety Vatas have. I can do with all that kind of stuff, but I can, I can survive off of junk food and be totally fine. <laughs> Me on the other <laughs> hand, I will, I will descend into great despair and distress of like, I, I eat candy and I just feel disgusting after my, my whole body hurts afterward. So rule of thumb for me personally is I just eat whatever Bryce can't eat. <laughs> I'm going to have to find this, this thing about the Bible and put it in later. I know it's somewhere in my phones. I just can't locate it where it talks about the Bible being the book of the sun, the worship of the sun God. I, it felt like to me when we were, when we were there is I felt like a kid again, like yeah. we were, like a childish feeling. It was, that was awesome. I also saw a snake and it slithered away from me. <laughs> oh yeah. You're like snake, snake, snake. Can we discuss? my video I posted because I was like, or maybe you could post it at the very end if I send it to you. Cause on Twitter, I was like, and here we are in the deep wilderness. And yet yeah, well, there's a parking lot right lot. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some of the things I said, obviously cracked you guys up. <laughs> Listen, I just got called. I got, you know, it, 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 I laugh at the baby thing, but it was very flattering. I haven't been called baby in a while. So <laughs> you're watching wink, wink i heard you <laughs> all right guys i know we're going well we've gone well over an hour here so i know that that's a lot for you guys to sit through and listen to but we're going to be back on the dark outpost this morning with david zublik to also be discussing tennessee and the isis tower if you are not following along the on ISIS the isis tower the isis tower the isis temple the tower <laughs> moment that isis or a plus for for we must really today. piss the controllers uh, off because they're like, how are these dumbasses? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, all right. But guys, we will be back uh, on, Dave, on the Dark Outpost in just a little bit. Please follow along with us there. If you are on his, his TV, it's the thedarkoutpost.tv. Um, if you're not on his, on his platform, you can watch it live. He streams every day live on his Twitter. And that's Eastern Time. So if David Zublik, I'll put a link to his Twitter down below. And ladies, any party words for our audience members? 
Keep it cool. <laughs> Keep it cool. <laughs> Word. We are the storm. Just, just look cute. Being, just look cute being the storm. You know, toss, we toss. Glitter. <laughs> just look cute being the storm. It doesn't matter. Just look cute. Okay. So <laughs> you got to look good Love for everyone. The- we got it. You got to look good for the pictures that are going on the history books. You know, you got to look cute. So, <laughs> all right, guys, we love you all. Uh, let us know your thoughts down in the description box or the comment section below. Can't even speak the comment section below. If we do, as always, get any abusive comments, first of all, I would ask you to do your own research. We're not making this up. This is all stuff that is research. Research is not witchcraft. Never thought I'd have to say that in my life, but apparently I do research is not witchcraft christians you are not the fact checkers of youtube just like liberals are not the fact checkers of all other social media platforms you are not the fact checkers of youtube every person is allowed to research if they go against what you've been taught to believe oh well they have a freedom to research if it triggers you don't watch all right, we have we have a right to be able to do the research that we want to do because we just want to know the truth. And guess what? All three of us are very, very, very comfortable in our relationship with God. And because we're comfortable in our relationship with God, with source, we can research and it doesn't trigger us. Mm-hmm. So that's something for you to think about. But if you do leave any abusive comments, you will be blocked from this channel. They'll just be blocked. Not just towards me or Stephanie or Bonnie, but if any... Buddy leaves an abusive response to anybody's comment, any of our subscribers comments and support or inquiring about our research, you will also be blocked because I don't put up with that shit. Okay, you're not going to say anything abusive to me, my guest or the subscribers. All right. And if, if you're a Christian that feels like you need to do that, you need to leave violent or abusive comments, you need to second guess your faith. Because once again, you are proving my research correct. All my research has pointed to is that Christianity is a version of Satanism. Do your research. And we're not Satanist on this channel. We're not Satanist. So, all right, guys. Well, I love both of you very, very much. I love all you guys watching right now. We will see you very, very soon. Thank you so much for being along on the ride with us. Let me know. Maybe that could be a really cool location if we just rent a bunch of cabins and have people come and we could just, you know, drink beer and laugh and roast s'mores and... I'm down. That sounds like a great old time to get a pontoon. Is, I want to party on a pontoon, okay? I part, well, we pontoons are slow, though. Pontoons are like... Pom, 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 pom. But, 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 you can... They're, they're not They're not for the speed. They're, they're literally like a big dance floor in the middle of the water. And then you can jump off, come back up, have another beer, dance around, and, and jump off again, and just hope you don't drown. Great! <laughs> I like the jet skis. I grew up on jet skis. I love jet skis. Let's do that too. Okay, we got a so, lot. To, so let's make that plan, guys. Let's we rent out a place. Ca- Listen, I'm all about going to a cabin. If there's a shower and a toilet, we're good. I just I don't know sh- if we saw any showers or toilets there. I'm gonna look at because that's my. I'll be staying in the hotel down the street because <laughs> I need. I cannot. <laughs> like, first of all, I'm not going to the bathroom in a hole in the ground. That's not gonna happen. I'm not going to go pee in a hole in the ground. Second of all, I just really want to bathe. I get boob sweat. Boob sweat's a serious thing. Like, I need to clean it, you know? So, anyway, guys. All right. All right. So, go ahead and find yourself some cute bathing suits because we want to plan a party at the Isis Temple in (laughs) Tennessee. So, thank you, guys. We love you all very much, and we'll see you all soon. Bye, guys. Bye.